Hey everyone, Aussie Brick Collector here, and in this video I'll be reviewing a Lego Star Wars set. This is General Grievous' Combat Speeder. This set came out in 2018, retailed for $45, though I got mine for $30 in sale because $45 is ridiculous anyways. And this is actually not my first time reviewing this set. I reviewed this set four years ago. Uh, this was actually my first ever video I made on this channel, surprisingly. It's such a weird set to review first, but I'm re-reviewing it because I was really embarrassed with how my old videos were. So without further ado, I'm just going to show you the minifigures first and then the set. So here is Mace Windu, and the main reason I wanted to buy this set is because of the minifigures. The minifigures were really good in the set, Mace Windu. He's got that purple lightsaber. He's one of the cool minifigures in my opinion, I really like this minifigure. I like the printing. He's even got some back printing. And yeah, we already know that Mace Windu is voiced by Samuel Jackson. And I really like that purple lightsaber. So there's Mace Windu. And then the main drawer of the set is the General Grievous minifigure because of his awesome forearms. And he holds four lightsabers. So two greens and two blues. And you can see his face. You can move it up. And then he's got like these arm pieces that simply just connect. Let me just take up his lightsabers actually. So now here he is without the lightsabers. So you got these arm pieces that are just that are just connected to the other arm piece, simply like that. General Reeves is one of the cool minifigures. All right, let's take a look at the combat speeder. Here is the combat speeder, and it's got some nice stickers here. It's a simple build. I think that interesting as a whole. Here's the bottom, and then you got this over here, spring loaded shooters. On the bottom over here, you can put General Reeves' lightsabers. So I'm just going to put that there. Alright, and then you can put General Reeves here. So yeah, this is his vehicle. This is actually based on the Coin Wars. This vehicle was in the Coin Wars season five, I believe. It's actually been a while since I haven't watched the Coin Wars. Then you got these spears over here that kind of show this kind of cool design. So yeah, General Grievous rides this thing on one of the planets. You got thruster here. Some more stickers here. Here's the bottom. And then I'm just gonna try to shoot Mace Windu. And let's see if that works. And yeah. Spring loader shooters are pretty popular. They're pretty cool to shoot at. You know, you got two of them. You got you actually get three in this set. There's an extra. But that is it for this set. I'm just gonna show you the box and instructions now. Alright, so here's the box of the set. Pretty cool designs from the Clone Wars. There's the episode eight design here. Came out in 2018. So yeah, this is from the Clone Wars. The background shows all the gunship. Here's the back. Just shows some play features. Mainly just that spring loaded shooter, but just Mace Windu. Mace Windu was actually not on the scene, so this scene isn't really accurate because it, actually it's meant to be a Soka fighting General Grievous, not Mace Windu. But hey, Mace Windu nonetheless is a cool minifigure. Here are the instructions. Uh, you get two numbered bags in the set. And in the back, you got a character checklist, I think. Some other sets. Uh, I think that set was pretty popular at that time. Just the Lego Life and the parts. This set, I think, only has 157 pieces. And you got another set out here. And just so 54 pages of building. And here's the back. All right, so that's it for this uh, video. And uh, what do I think of this set? Oh, yeah, so it's nothing that amazing. People hate this set because of the price. Yeah, $45 in Australia is pretty expensive, but even the US people, they complain that, oh, $30 is so expensive for the set. And it kind of is, because the vehicle is, it's it's just alright, it's nothing that interesting, it's definitely not the best General Grievous Lego set. But the minifigures are really good in the set, in my opinion. This was an easy way to get General Grievous for me, because I've always wanted that figure, he just came in expensive sets. And Mace Windu is a pretty cool minifigure as well, just a nice figure to add to the Jedi collection. But it's still a simple set and nothing too particularly amazing about it. 
So my rating out of 10, I'm going to give this set a 7.5 out of 10. I think that's a fair score. Nothing perfect. It's just simple. It's just good for the minifigures and the builds. It's still, it's a fun build, but it's nothing particularly amazing from Lego Star Wars. So that's it for this re-review of General Reef's Combat Speeder. And hopefully I'll review some more Star Wars sets, actually. I think there's another one I'm going to re-review. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.